Hey guys, sorry I'm so late getting on. We were finishing up our staff meeting for church and um, had a little bit of trouble getting on to the live Facebook thing. They're like changing things up and hopefully making it more accessible for us. But um, in the meantime, it's a little crazy. So um, today on story time, I have a couple of stories for us. Um, and so the first one is we are um, catching up from last week. We started a book called What Can You Make of It? All right. And we had the field mice family and they were moving from one house to another house. And so they were packing up all of their goods and they had all of these things that they wanted to bring with them and they weren't quite sure where they were going to put them. So we're going to find out where everything went today and what they made of it. So chapter three is visitors. Uncle Alfred and Aunt Kate are coming to visit us, said Father Fieldmouse. How nice, shouted the children. We'll have to clean out the garage, said Mother Fieldmouse. Why, asked Father Fieldmouse. To make room for their car, replied Mother Fieldmouse. There's plenty of room in front of the house, said Father Fieldmouse. That would be wasting the garage, said Mother Fieldmouse. Garages are for cars. I wonder, do any of the rest of you have things other than cars that live in your <laughs> garages? I know we do. Mr. and Mrs. Fieldmouse, for tubes in the library, the yarn spools in the kitchen, the egg cartons in the bedrooms, and the old magazines in the bathroom. There was now plenty of room for in the garage for the car. Someone up here said, here we go again. What a mess. A nice new old house you have, said Uncle Alfred. But there's not much room to get around, said Aunt Kate. And there's no place at all to sit down. It's because of all the rubbish, said Father Fieldmouse. What rubbish, asked Uncle Alfred. The orange juice cans, the milk cartons, the toilet paper tubes, the yarn spools, the egg cartons, and the old magazines, replied Mother Fieldmouse. You'll find some use for them someday. <laughs> Chapter 4. Uncle Alfred has an idea. Look at all the things you can make with rubbish, said Uncle Alfred. He was looking through the old magazines. Let's start with the orange juice cans. They all went into the dining room and made things with the orange juice cans. Mother Field Mouse made lions. Father Field Mouse made tigers. The children made horses. Aunt Kate made bears. And Uncle Alfred made a top hat. Look at all the things that they made. And over here it says, Ha ha, it's loot, rude to laugh, Bertrand. Gracious. You see all their animals that they made out of orange juice? When they had used up all the orange juice cans, Uncle Alfred said, Look at all the things you can make with yarn spools. They all went into the kitchen and made things with the yarn spools. Mother Field Mouse made snakes. Father Field Mouse made a trapeze. The children made monkeys. Aunt Kate made a clown. And Uncle Alfred made a rattle. What do you think that they might be working on making? Have any ideas, friends? When they had used up all the yarn spools, Uncle Alfred said, Look at all the things you can make with toilet paper tubes. They all went into the library and made things with the toilet paper tubes. <laughs> Mother Meal Field Mouse made a whole family of elephants. Father Field Mouse made a microphone. The children made opera glasses. Aunt Kate made a hoop, and Uncle Alfred made a, a cannon. Testing one, two, toot. 
you're good at it. And then over here, what's the matter, Bertrand? Look at him jumping up in the air. Boo! <laughs> when they had used up all the toilet paper tubes, Uncle Alfred said, Look at all the things you can make with egg cartons. They all went into the bedrooms and made things with the egg cartons. Mother Field Mouse made turtles. Father Field Mouse made pedestals. The children made cups. Cheers. Aunt Kate made owls. She says, I don't know when I've had such fun. And Uncle Alfred made a rabbit. When they had used up all the egg cartons, Uncle Alfred said, look at all the things you can make with milk cartons. They all went into the living room and made cages for the animals with the milk cartons. We've made a whole circus, said Uncle Alfred. I'm so glad we saved all the rubbish, said Father Field Mouse. I always said we'd have some use for it someday, said Mother Field Mouse. But where will you put it? Asked Uncle Kate. Asked Aunt Kate. In the garage, said Uncle Alfred. Garages are for cars, said Mother Field Mouse. There's plenty of room for the car in front of the house, said Uncle Alfred. He went to park his car in front of the house. And somebody went for a ride. They put the animals in the cages and carried the whole circus into the garage. What about the old magazines? asked Mother Field Mouse. Let's put them in the library, said Father Field Mouse. You might have some use for them again someday, said Uncle Alfred. We now have room to get around, said Mother Field Mouse. And there's plenty of room to sit. Aunt Kate went to read in the library. She says, oh my, look at all the things you can make with bottle caps. Uncle Alfred settled in the living room, took a snooze. Mother and father field mouse went into the kitchen to cook dinner. The children set the table in the din dining room. Dinner is served, called mother field mouse. They all took turns in the bathroom. Washing hands, right? Patience is a virtue, children. We're hungry. Hunt, hurry up in there. And on the door, can you read what it says? Occupado. Then they gathered in the dining room for a big Sunday dinner. It says, use your fork, dear. Oh, good. Spaghetti Bolognese. Chapter 5, The Greatest Show on Earth. After dinner, they all went down to the garage. Mother Field Mouse gave everyone a cup full of popcorn. Father Field Mouse handed out the opera glasses. Wait for me. Uncle Alfred shook the rattle. Ladies and gentlemen, he said into the microphone, the greatest show on earth is about to begin. Attention. <laughs> Father Field Mouse made the monkeys fly on the trapeze. Annette made the lions sit on the pedestals. Bertrand made the tigers jump through the hoop. Mother Field Mouse made the elephants make a pyramid. Colette made the bears dance. Look at their cool circus. Aunt Kate made the clown pull a rabbit out of a top hat. Daniel made the horses trot around the ring. Esther made the owls ride on the turtles. And Ferdinand made the snakes write the numbers one to nine. You see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the end, 
the grand finale, Uncle Alfred shot the clown out of the cannon. Boom! They all applauded each other. That was fun, they said. Oh dear, I'm afraid it's time for us to leave, said Aunt Kate. Already? asked the children. They'll come again soon, said Father Field Mouse. Big finale. Uncle Alfred and Aunt Kate climbed into their car and drove away. Mother and Father Field Mouse and their six children and the whole circus waved to them until they were out of sight. The end. So I wonder, friends, how many of you are doing projects right now that involve rubbish, right? Are you guys using things that you might have around the house to be able to create some special things to play with or making special crafts? So don't forget to send me an email and let me know what it is that you might be creating or doing that's special these days. All right. So then I have one more story I want to read and it's kind of short. It's an Eric Carl story. And I want to read this one for a special purpose. So this one's called The Secret Birthday Message. And I want to read this one because I know that some of my friends out there have had birthdays recently. I know my friend Elliot turned five last week. Hi, Elliot. And tomorrow, Pastor David has his birthday. So I thought it'd be fun for us to read the special birthday message and make it think about Pastor David. Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carl. On the night before Tim's birthday, he found a strange envelope under his pillow. He sat straight up in bed and opened the letter. It was a secret message. And this is what it said. When the semicircle comes up, look for the biggest star. Below it, you'll see an oval. Behind that is the triangle. Go in. Look up to find a circle. Crawl through. Go downstairs. Walk straight ahead to a rectangle. Open it. You will see another rectangle. Climb up and through. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. Happy birthday. Huh. So here's what it means. When the moon comes up, look for the biggest star. Below it, you'll see a rock. Behind that is the entrance to a cave. Go in. Look up to find a round opening. Go through with the bats. Go down the stairs. There we go. Walk straight ahead to a door. Open it. The door. You will see an opening. Climb up and through. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. What do you think it is? Climb up the stairs. Go through the opening. Oh, what is it? Wow. It's a puppy. Happy birthday. Now, to say we're not getting a puppy at our house for Pastor David's birthday this year. We got one last year. That, her name is Leah, and she's been living with us for a whole year now. But I thought that would be fun to share. And if you guys want to send Pastor David a message, a happy birthday message, that would be awesome. Um, don't forget, on Wednesday, um, I'll be doing reading again at 430 and if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you check connections um, to 
get the copy of our Bible reading um, for this month. Um, it's the Gospel of John. Um, so you can download that and sign off each day as you read a chapter um, and turn that in for a special prize. Also, don't forget that if you want to send in um, a stump Pastor Sarah um, picture for our children's sermons, um, we're going to be doing some of those. We may be doing a little bit different thing for um, for Palm Sunday and Easter, but then we'll get right back into stumping me. So keep the pictures coming. I love them. They're great. Um, and let's see what else. I guess that's it for today, but I'm so glad to see you. Thank you for stopping in and for reading with me today. And I look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday. I hope you guys are taking care of each other and staying safe. Um, and I'll have another special thing to tell you about on Wednesday. Um, something that fun that will be coming up very soon to help us as we celebrate this Easter season. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.